Hey guys, Jason here with Samco Workshop. Today we're going to show you how to load and unload a boat by yourself and all the stuff that goes along with it. Uh, very important that you pay attention to some of these steps and uh, one of them we're doing right here too, like if you see here. Uh, if you notice these guys loading over there, you can also see the sign right above them, right there that says to not um, do you know to not block the load or the boat ramp secure and unsecure your stuff over here in the actual parking lot like where I am and uh, they've been there now for 25 minutes holding up the ramp and uh, they're blocking the whole thing so we're waiting for them to finish I don't know what they're doing with the boat right now they're rocking it like crazy doing something not quite sure but they are uh, trying to set up and do that but we are going to show you here in a minute how to actually unload and get this thing ready if you were doing it by yourself tina's here so she's going to film for me but we're going to show you how to uh, have this thing all set up and all ready to go for you first couple things you're going to want to do is you got to make sure all of your stuff is in okay and i don't so i can have two hands free she'll she'll walk through this with us and show us so we can see it all but uh we got to get everything ready here at the parking lot before we take it down to the boat ramp that way we're not blocking as you can see there's quite a few boats out here and uh coming in and coming out and uh, you don't last thing you want to do is be down there on the ramp jamming things up so we do all of the prep work here even including unstrapping the boat now if you have rollers if your boat is a roller i don't see a roller rig here anywhere they're all bunks see like this is bunks you see how there's bunks on that trailer not rollers uh, with bunks you can unhook this stuff ahead of time and bring it over there if you got rollers you never want to unhook that front strap till you're down there and set because of the fact that it'll roll the boat will literally roll right off but if you have bunks like this one does carpeted wood bunks like all of these trailers that you're seeing here are all carpeted wood bunks uh, then you can actually um, disconnect that here in the parking lot and have it ready for you to go so uh, we're going to take one second and we're going to show you how all that works in a minute we're going to do come around on this side here we got to disconnect these straps that are on here we're going to take our straps off the boat these are simple just going to pop them pop them but we're going to take these are going to go in the truck with us we're going to leave those here so we're taking both of them off on both sides two of them so we pop these straps off setting them here we also have a uh um, a transom saver which is this pole right here reason we use that i'm using it because it is a small little 25 horse motor but on the back roads the potholes and the ruts and the stuff on some of these back launches are so bad that i don't want to beat everything up so i'm using this so we just have it held on with bungee cords so we're just going to pop these cords off of here pop this cord off of this one right here like that then we lift the motor up pull this out and now our motor is down and this is ready to go but we have an issue here still too we do not want to go down that boat ramp with that motor in that down position or when we do that drop we might hit so we want to put that motor back up it's a notch or two here like that just so that it's safe and secure as we launch this boat down so that is now all set for the stuff that goes into the car let's go do that first then we're going to come right back here to the back so we're not done but We're going to throw this stuff right into the forerunner. So we have it here and ready. Closing that up. Now we're not done. We got one very important thing that we need to always check. First of all, on your gas cap, when you have your gas tank, if you leave the pressure in that, that thing would balloon up like crazy. So that cap is very loose. Okay, so we want to tighten that cap up till it clicks. Now that gas cap is good and tight. Notice this. See this? That's where I keep my boat plug. It is not in here. This is to remind me that I have to put this in. If I do not put this plug in, we sink. Okay, so the plug has to go in. Set the plug in, make sure it's in good. Twist it in. I like these twist ones way better than the cam over ones. So we're gonna lock this in. And get it good and tight. So we're set, we're set, we're good, okay? The spare rig we're gonna stick right there all right so we got that now what we got to do is we got to go up here to the front because again we are launching this by ourselves nobody's gonna be there to help us so we want to use a rope okay we're gonna take this stick it here we are gonna use this line this is about 22 feet of just seven mil or eight and a half mil this is mountain climbing rope just because I got a bunch of it but what we want to do is we want to tie this off Somebody's struggling here, sinking. 
we want to take this and we're going to tie it off right here okay right to our our line here okay this is it because we want to be able once we let this out we want to let it go so we're going to tie this onto here right on that metal loop of this we're going to put a bow line in here because it's a good simple knot to put in so we're sticking a bow line in there and that's going to tie into here now the other end we're going to take this and we're going to lay it right out on the boat like that is a strip like this is a strip so it's loose and it won't tangle just like that so it'll feed itself off the other end of this once we take this off is going to go through the eye of the boat okay so now we have this through the eye so we have this going this way coming through wrapping around going back through and so we have this bow line here now tight on the boat so you can see I am connected to here and I am connected to this strap now what we're going to do is loosen this just a little bit let a little slack come out of this just a hair okay we're going to lock this again this has to be locked otherwise you're going to feed all that out of there we're going to let this out loose that's going to just hang and sit right here now when I back this boat in the water it is going to roll right off my trailer but this rope is connected from the boat to this eye which is connected to that strap it is going to basically just let that boat go out from us on its own it's going to feed away from the trailer once it gets out there and this slack is taken up i put the tra truck in uh, drive and i just pull it slightly it's going to bring the boat up to shore for me then i can get out and grab it and keep that boat right there and have it handy for me to be able to uh to load you know pull it into shore by myself and then i can tie it off and go park my truck so it's a real simple process on how this works and uh, we will show you so uh, but we got everything ready double check it Make sure the winch is locked, so otherwise you're gonna pan out all of that. So we got the winch locked, tied on the boat, tied to the winch. We have our plug in, we have our rear strap unhooked. We have our motor in the up position. Now we also have to put the key in the motor. Mine is one of these. And again, we're doing this all at the boat launch here, or I mean at the, at the parking lot, not down there at the ramp blocking it. My key is now on the boat and in the motor, so we are set there. All that's ready. Now the last thing we got to do is get the stuff we want from the truck into the boat that we want to take with us, and we are ready to then back out and pull around and get ready at the launch. So we will be back. Tina's going to be down there for you to show you in a minute. So, all right, on pause. Now, very important thing, I don't care what anybody, I just swallowed a gnat. <laughs> I don't care what anybody tells you. Two things you're going to do with your vehicle at every boat launch. I don't care what anybody else tells you. I've seen too many things go wrong in this. I've owned 11 boats and been in a boat launch my whole life. Windows down on both side windows in case something goes wrong. Put it in four-wheel drive. I don't care what anybody tells you if they laugh at you. If the ramp is slick and you only have rear wheels and they start sliding, you're done, you're in a drink, and your whole vehicle's going down with you. you. I don't care what anybody tells you, even if they've done it their whole life without doing that. Not all boat ramps are the same. The amount of algae that builds up at different times of the year, the steepness, especially on rivers with how the river rises and lowers, I'm telling you, put, if you have four-wheel drive, put it in four-wheel drive, both windows down, nobody else in the vehicle with you when you're loading the boat. That's my best safety tip for you. So, all right, we're gonna start this up, put it in four wheel drive, we'll roll down the windows, and we're gonna go meet Tina down there by the water. Now we're gonna untie this from the trailer. And then we're gonna park it right over there. Then we're gonna just take this, pull it off the trailer, Gonna park it right here on the drive and beach it Just like that and then tina's gonna hold this until uh i go park the car and then we're ready to head out and boat and uh we are officially set that is how you basically do it now to reload it when we're gonna load it the only difference is i'm gonna have this here i would tie this off to something here because i'm by myself this is now officially beached i could go park the truck on my own when I come back in, I'm going to drop that in. I'm going to take this rope and push the boat out and then pull it right up on the trailer with this rope. So it just makes life very easy to load and unload by yourself. Uh, so sweet, simple kind of process. Tricky part is some of these ramps, they get kind of tricky with some of the stone and the rocks. This one's pretty nice and easy right here to pull over on the side. Not a big deal. So, uh, But there you go. Now, if you're leaving this rope out and exposed while you're out there, 
Make sure you somehow tie this like this. See what I'm doing here? Watch this. Come in here. See where you see this. I'm taking this rope and I'm running it through here and I'm putting this loop right here. What that does is that I can watch that and see if this loop is no longer there, then I know this rope is feeding out here and it may get under my boat and snag on something. So by putting this little loop right here, I can see that from the boat and know that my rope is nice and tight here and not gonna snag on anything. So there you go, good little tip for you. All right, T, you're gonna hold this. I'm gonna go park the truck.